Fantasy Queen Mac has been with you. She's the fairy's midwife, and she comes in shape no bigger than an agate stone, on the forefinger of an alderman, drawn with a team of little atomy over men's noses as they lie asleep. Her wagon spokes made of spinner's legs, the cover of the wings of grasshoppers. Her traces of the smallest spider's web, her color of the moonshine watery beams. Her whip of cricket's bone and the lash of film, her wagon are a small gray coated gnat. Not half so big as a round little worm pricked from the lazy Her chariot is an empty hazelnut made by the joiner squirrel or an old grub. Time out of mind. The fairy's coach makers in, in this state. She gallops night by night through lovers' brains and they dream of love. On courteous, knee, on courteous knees that dream on courteous straight. Or lawyers' fingers who straight on cur who straight dream on feet, or ladies' lips, who straight on kisses dream, <laughs> which of the angry maps with blisters plagues, because their breaths with sweet meat stained are. Sometimes she gallops or courses nose, and then dreams he of smelling out a sea, and sometimes comes she with a tight pig's tail, tickling a parson's nose as he lies asleep. And then he dreams of another benefit. Sometimes she driveth over a soldier's neck and then dreams he of cunning foreign throats, of breeches and moscados, Spanish blades of hell's five fate leap. And then anon drums in his ear, at which he starts and wakes. And then being as frighted, he says, prayer or two, and, and sleeps again. And this is that fairy map that plays the manes of horses in the night and bakes the elf looks in foul sluggish heads, which once untangled much misfortune bodes. This is the hack when maids lie on their backs that presses them and learns them first to bear, making them women of good carriage. This is she. Thank you. This was the, this was the Queen Map speech from Romeo and Juliet. Spoken by Mac Pichet. And it's, oh, it's dreamy. It's beautiful. Thank you for listening.